Today, North Carolina posted its largest one day increase of COVID-19 hospitalizations. Tonight, healthcare workers are caring for more than 2,700 patients, and that number is climbing. The state health department reported another 5,200 new cases. A little more than 10% of all tests are coming back positive. Today, Governor Roy Cooper warned there is a lot of work that needs to be done. Allie Weatherton has the state's next steps. The vaccine is in North Carolina. Governor Roy Cooper said three hospitals got doses on Monday. He said eight more medical centers receive shipments today and 42 more will get some on Thursday. Our North Carolina team spent months preparing for this moment and now we're moving our vaccination plan into action. This comes as North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services reported the state surpassed 446,000 cases today. More than 5,800 people have died so far from the virus. There's real hope that we can stop those painful losses. Vaccinations are underway in North Carolina. But some say they don't plan on getting the vaccine. It's not not trustworthy in my book. I mean, everything that has gone on with it, I mean, they need more he, more human bodies to trial on. And Healthcare workers caring for COVID-19 patients along with the staff and residents of long-term care facilities are first in line to get the Pfizer vaccine if they want it. But Governor Cooper worries about how many doses the state will get. He says if the FDA approves the Moderma vaccine, the state is likely to get more than 170,000 doses by next week. Just over half of those will go to long-term care facilities. We expect them to be getting vaccinated at the end of the month. Beyond that, questions remain. In Moyoc, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.